Link group monitoring is an optional feature that I can configure for high availability. And the easiest way to understand it is to draw it out. So let's say I have a pair of redundant firewalls. And I've connected Ethernet 1 on both firewalls to my internet switches. And I have Ethernet 3 connected to my DMZ switches. And I've got Ethernet 2 connected to my LAN switches. So these are my production networks, Ethernet 1, 2, and 3. But I also have a test lab, and I've only connected the lab switch to my active firewall on Ethernet 1.4. It isn't a production network, and I don't really need to worry about the lab being 100% redundant, so I haven't connected it to the passive firewall, just a single connection from a single switch in the lab environment to Ethernet 1.4 on my active firewall. But under normal conditions, if this link for Ethernet 1.4 goes down, it will trigger a failover to the passive device. And I don't want that because a lot of times we're in the lab unplugging things, plugging things back in, restarting devices, including the switch that I have connected to the active firewall. So if Ethernet 1.1 or Ethernet 1.2 or Ethernet 1.3 go down on the active firewall, I do want to trigger a failover. But if Ethernet 1.4 goes down, I don't want to trigger a failover. So that's the situation that I'll use for the demo on link groups. So we set up link groups on the active device under Device, High Availability, and under the tab for Link and Path Monitoring. So under the link group, I'll click Add and create a group for my production links. I'll call this production. And then I add the interfaces that I want to belong to this production link group. Ethernet 1.1, Ethernet 1.2, and Ethernet 1.3. I'm going to leave the checkbox enabled. And I want the failure condition set to any. In other words, if any of these three production links fails on the active firewall, that will trigger a failover. So I'll click OK. Now I'll create a link group that contains just one link for my lab, Ethernet 4, and click OK. So I have two link groups. Now up here at the top, under Link Monitoring, I'll edit these settings, I'll leave it enabled, and the failure condition is set to any, which means that if any of these link groups fail, that will trigger a failover for the active device. I don't want that. I want this set to all, which means that if my lab link fails, that's okay. It's only one of the two link groups that I have. All of the link groups have to fail in order to trigger a failover. So that's essentially how you set up link groups.